Hey there. For me? Oh. Wow. Of course. Thanks. Be careful. The tunnels below may have collapsed. Fools. They were unprepared for this. At least it didn't catch us by surprise. Must do what we can do. Care. <laughs> well, that's not nice. Well done. Tread cautiously. I'm sorry. 
sorry, but you have to be stopped. Warlock just ran out. You need help? I got you on this. Oh. This is most unpleasant. I feel off. I guess this yeah. is it. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes. I'm sorry, but you have to be stopped. You need my help? <laughs> I see where you're going. I'll handle it for you. There's always You're not alone. I'm cutting you down to Lucky. Even more where that came from. Ha! You need my help? Hey there. <laughs> I see where you're going. What do you need? I? Of course. I help. Of course. So do Risi. Oh, Dorisi. He was in charge here. Bit obsessive, but a good enough fellow. I hope this was quick, whatever it was. Place your hand against the pillar of Luminous Audra. A dim, warm light emanates from the surface, but it feels cool to the touch. Pinpricks dance along your fingers, uncomfortable, but not painful. A woman's voice, scratchy, distant, and halting, echoes in your mind. Find your soul in him. You concentrate. Peering into the Audra's energy as you would peer into a soul. Its inner light is blinding, but as you become accustomed to it, you perceive the core of the Audra itself, 
a churning mass of millions of soul fragments. With a jolt, the energy reaches out to you. The Anguithin ruin fragments around you, breaking into incoherent shapes and dissolving to dust, falling into an infinite well of dark grave vapor. Even the ground itself disintegrates into nothingness. All that remains is the murky expanse of the in-between. The Audra Pillar, and a skein of golden threads rooted in the pillar that extend far off into the distance. You focus on the threads. You catch glimpses of memories, your memories, mingled among the memories of thousands of other captive souls. The filaments begin to cohere, rapidly twining into a golden cord. With a muffled crack, the cord ripples outward in a violent wave toward the endless distance. The cord undulates over a space so vast that you lose sight of the wave before it finds its end. Then, a heavy creaking, like the sound of mountains shearing under their own weight, washes through the dull gloom of the in-between. A violent force yanks you along the cord at an incredible speed. The murk of the in-between warps erratically, as though you are observing it through an ill-ground lens. Just as quickly as you were pulled forward, you stop, suspended below a massive figure of ancient carved Audra. Like all Audra, it glimmers with energy, but the souls and memories within it are not flowing down. They churn in a vortex that burns at the heart of the statue's mass in some invisible engine. It is Aethys. The great golden cord terminates in his back, sending pulses of energy throughout his limbs as they move. He walks in long, slow strides toward a brilliant pillar of Audra far in the distance. It shines even more brightly in the in-between than Aethys. From within the teeming throng of souls, dozens of eyes look out to you. Through the cord, their collective anguish and despair push at the edge of your mind. Help us! Please! Help us! Their voices echo in your mind. Somewhere within their ranks, you can feel the presence of your own soul slumbering deeper in the gyre. Aethys' stride slows and stops. His head slowly pivots until its great burning eyes are cast back along the cord. As his gaze meets yours, you feel an overwhelming rush of incredible joy mingled with profound sadness. You have sensed similar anguish in lost souls, but never with this intensity. A soothing voice drifts into your mind. It takes great bravery to venture through the in-between, even for a watcher. A swell of admiration radiates out from the god's heart, a force so intense that it momentarily overwhelms you. You do not need to follow me, for their sake or your own. Something beautiful is coming. Something that will save us all. A great light shines from Aethys's brow, so bright that even the souls within him flinch from the source, cowering in fear. Through the glare, you see Aethys's massive arm reach up to grasp the golden cord, the tether carrying energy from the Audra Pillar to him that also suspends your consciousness. The sun will yet rise, Watcher. You need only wait for its light to come. Aethys yanks on the golden cord, pulling it from his back. The cord tears into filaments that blacken and dissolve to dust. Without pause, he turns to resume his stride toward the distant pillar of Audra, shining on the boundless horizon. You hear the souls within him cry out for just a moment before your consciousness is snapped away from them. The in-between goes dark. For a second, you feel a mix of nausea and a sensation like spinning and falling. Then the moment ends. Your consciousness has returned to the Anguithin Arena. The world is sideways, the Audra Pillar upside down. You flinch at the feeling that you're standing on the ceiling. The disorientation overwhelms you and you collapse to your knees next to the luminous Audra Pillar. 
Previously dim and flickering, the pillar now glows with a strong and steady light. You touch the Audra again, but the chill and prickling sensations you felt before are gone, replaced with a comforting warmth, like the embers of a fire that has just lost its flame. You all right? Come on, we just got you back. I heard you say that before. Had something to do with a 2,000-year-old lunatic talking to you in your dreams. I've seen you commune with souls of the dead, but this looked altogether different. What happened? Yeah. Don't suppose he told you what he's up to, did he? Or at least, where he's going? How hard can it be to find in a chain of thousands of islands? See what I can find. You're doing it again. That look, like you couldn't beat a hollowborn in a personality contest. You wanna share what you're seeing, or do I gotta guess? What do you suppose that's about? Maybe they got food in there. Watcher, we'd like to come with you. We would, and we appreciate that you showed us the way, but what if the Audra goes dark again before we reach the beyond? Thank you, Watcher. You need my help?
Yeah? I don't see why not. We should build more of these cages, I think. We will remain here. To see to our dead. We're lucky the cage worked. How are we to rebuild after all this? I cannot imagine. Something you can trust. Hello. Look, I'm with you.
May I be a knight? Better. Hey there, I guess this is it. Hi. I shall deal with this one. Just a deep Sting isn't doing the job. I won't let you down. This thing isn't doing the job. Damn I'm sorry, team. but you have to be stopped. I guess this is it. I'm with you. Of course. Quiet as a cat. Hey there. Eagle eyes. I can do. 